Alle anderen? Should not stop it. <laughs> George Washington took on eggnog as one of his popular drinks, and apparently it was quite a boozy concoction. Where did the milk come in? Oh, sugar. I nearly forgot a step. Oh, sh. I cannot believe I've never tried eggnog before. Apparently, it's something that started in medieval Britain, and yet we don't have it over here, but it is a drink that's traditionally drunk over Christmas and the holiday festive period. So, we're going to try eggnog for the first time. Tis the season to be merry. I've got six large egg yolks in here over a medium bowl over simmering water. This is a recipe from the website foodandwine.com and it's one that one of our moderators uses for her festive eggnog. So thank you very much, Gina. Add in the sugar, which I've got a quarter of a cup and two tablespoons. Whisk until it's hell yellow and thick. Eggnog became very popular in the 18th century when George Washington actually took on eggnog as one of his popular drinks and apparently it was quite a boozy concoction and then it stuck as a festive tradition and to this day remains a tradition in the USA. Now over here in Britain, even though it says it this started in medieval Britain, I cannot see that we get eggnog. I can't even buy it online. Now for the fun stuff. So we have to add in the alcohol, which apparently not all eggnog has the alcohol in it. So let me know in the comments down below, do you have alcohol in yours or do you not? Now I've gone with this alcohol version because Gina told me that this is one that they like to have in their family. So I thought I'm gonna take it from somebody that's American and somebody that knows rather than trying to research myself. But I might, if I can get some more cream in time, I might actually make a non-alcoholic version because I quite like Alana to try this as well. So I have a selection of different alcohol. First off, it says, Add a quarter cup of bourbon. I wasn't actually going to drink it, I just wanted to smell it. I'm not a massive fan of dark alcohol, so let's just see how this one goes. Two tablespoons of dark run and two tablespoons of brandy. I think I'm going to be drunk. One. So this is something that we're having to make ourselves just to try it. I'm guessing everybody adds different alcohols into it as well. So let us know down in the comments what you do and how you like your eggnog. Because if we do like this, I can see us making it again if it's not too difficult. Gonna leave that to the side there. Got my egg whites in another large bowl, which I've got. Quarter cup and two tablespoons of sugar and whisk. something so satisfying about whipped egg whites or whipped cream and things in general. Where did the milk come in? Oh, sugar. I nearly forgot a step. Oh, sugar. Okay, I was meant to add three cups of milk to this. So let's do that now. Oopsie. So the step was, <laughs> when I added the alcohol, I was also meant to add the milk, but I missed the milk and went straight on to whipping up those egg whites. Okay, well that's kind of done. And a bit of a spillage. Okay, what I was meant to do next, whip up some cream, a cup of cream. God, this is gonna be calorific. Yummy. Right, that can go in there. And now we all whip the cream. God, I always do something wrong, don't I? I'm cooking with H. I am just gonna pour this cream back into this dish because I do think I need this dish for combining the whole thing. Yeah? Well, what was I meant to do next? Everything needs to be in a pretty large bowl. So this is why I've kept this one back. And it says those, those, this. So I'm gonna put all this in this much larger bowl. Probably should have done that first, but nothing ever goes to plan, does it? Oh, it smells lovely. Okay, then I need to stir the whites into the yolk, which is here. Just check in, check in I'm doing it all right. Well, that's why I needed a larger bowl. Okay, stir. I think there's a reason why the Brits don't have eggnog because if like me, you're just gonna completely ruin it, then you don't want Brits making eggnog. I think the Americans should stick to adopted eggnog as their own and I should butt out of it. <laughs> we need a little bit of nutmeg. How much nutmeg did I need? Half a teaspoon. Now I'm gonna fold the cream in. I didn't weigh out my nutmeg, yes, I know, it's naughty, but there was a reason. 
I couldn't get to the drawer and get my teaspoon measurer out, so I thought I would just guess it. I would have thought I'd have to whisk it again, but it doesn't say to whisk it, it just says to fold the cream in. And then it says to chill and whisk before serving. It does smell lovely. Is eggnog something that you have every Christmas or every festive period? Let us know in the comments what other traditions you actually have for Christmas. We quite often celebrate Christmas Eve, so that's all about getting everything ready. Christmas Eve, a big kind of buffet style meal, and that's the Polish side of my family. But in Britain, we celebrate Christmas Day, so we get to celebrate both, which is lovely. Okay, it smells good, it smells boozy, it smells right up my street. I'm gonna cover that now, pop it in the refrigerator, chill it for, I think it's in like eight hours. So I'm, what I'm probably gonna do is leave it, come back and try it tomorrow with Mr. H. Join us for the taste test. Okay, because I completely managed to balls up the first attempt, I am now doing the same, but with no alcohol, because you would literally laugh at what I just did. Well, you might not actually, you might just think I'm a complete idiot. So I'm just gonna try and redeem myself slightly. I'm gonna pop my milk over here so I make sure to add it this time. Okay, now I add three cups of milk, except this is one and a half, because I have actually reduced the quantity slightly because it's gonna be a lot of eggnog. Now I need to whisk the egg whites with the sugar until we get soft peaks. Now we have to do the whipped cream. Stir the whites into the yolks. I am carefully looking, see if I'm doing this right this time. Probably missed a step already. I never know how like professional cooks and chefs do everything so it's nicely presented on a camera because I'm all very cat candid when I do things like this. So stir in and then beat until lightly thickened. What I might do on this one as well is instead of adding nutmeg, I might add vanilla because I think maybe Alana might like the vanilla more so than the nutmeg and then at least we can compare two different eggnogs, one with nutmeg and alcohol and one with vanilla and see which one we prefer. I'm sick. <laughs> right, I'm going to pop in a tiny bit of vanilla. So we're going for a quarter of a teaspoon. Right, let's get this folded in. Look at that. I also want to ask, do you all make eggnog at home or do you buy store-bought eggnog? And if so, what are the best brands to actually buy? Because they're the ones I'm going to try and look out for and see if we can get them next time we're in the States. I think that is nicely folded. Okay, we're gonna also pop this one in the fridge, then let it chill overnight, because I think that's probably the best thing to do, and then we will definitely be back with a taste test. We will have myself, Alana, and Mr. H, and we will all try, well, actually, we won't all try, because Alana's not having the alcoholic version. We'll see which one we prefer, if there is a preference. Just gonna see if we enjoy tasting eggnog for the first time. <laughs> I'm back with some more competent helpers. I've got Mr. H and Alana. Alana. Competent helpers. Yeah, are you actually, well. Baby H. Good story. I really, really wanted to get the Chevy Chase Christmas Vacation moose glasses, but they're so expensive. I have never had eggnog either version before. So this is brand new to me and I'm quite excited because by all the ingredients, I'm making a mess again. So right, can I just? I should like it. Oh, you want some more? Oh yeah. What's this, Elena? Can you say eggnog? So I'm gonna do the alcoholic in this glass. Yep. And the non-alcoholic in the other glass. <laughs> Bless you. As always, please drink responsibly. Cheers, Cheers then. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I was just about to say the same. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> right. Mm. That just tastes like liquid ice cream. Not a milkshake. Mm. Shall I get you a straw? <laughs> I think you'd like this one, baby. Try some eggnog. Will I have a sun? Will I have a sun? She's not stopping. <laughs> <laughs> Is that nice? Nice. nice. And what do you get that? Is that a yummy? More What's eggnog? You say eggnog? Mm -hmm. More eggnog? 
you should no, not the alcohol. Not on the alcohol one. <laughs> this is really nice. That is nice, isn't it? Can I try a bit more? Really smooth. Mm. It's quite sweet. It's sweet, but, but it's really nice. It's got a nice fluff to it. Mm. I was actually worried it wasn't going to turn out quite right. If you've watched the whole video and you watched me actually preparing this, you probably were screaming at the TV like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I was screaming it at myself. Yeah, I know, it was funny, wasn't it? Daddy. It's yeah. funny, but the result, mm. do you like that? How many did you give that? Ten? Well, she's not stopped drinking it. Yeah, that's really good. Right, this is Gina Ooh. O. Gina O, one of our moderators, sent me this recipe as one that she usually follows with her family. Now, I've got to say, this will be a slight... I'll tell you what's different about it, actually, after. Yeah, yeah, really strong alcohol. <laughs> Cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Pleasant? Mm. It doesn't taste as strong as it smells. Mm -mm. Don't get me wrong, it's strong, but it's not like overpowering. Yeah, I'd say for the amount of alcohol that was probably in it, oh. in ratio, <laughs> more. <laughs> you want more? Not the alcohol one. That's good. Mummy, you did a great job. The actual amount of alcohol that you put in the whole eggnog mix, I don't think it's that much. It just smells strong because of what's in it. Mm. So there's rum, bourbon, <laughs> brandy, I think. Oh, really? Oh. Cheers. I like that. In the alcoholic version, I use nutmeg, which is something that Gina's recipe said. But then I remember no. Gina says she sometimes substitutes it for vanilla. So Ooh. in the non-alcoholic version, I put vanilla and no nutmeg. And it's a bit sweeter, isn't it? But then in the alcoholic one, I put the nutmeg. Oh. But I don't think it's too nutmeggy. I think it's really nice. I would definitely like to make some more. Oh, you'll make some more. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know in the comments below if you like eggnog. Do you prefer the alcoholic version or the non-alcoholic version? Quick shout out to the merch store. I Bloody Love Christmas is now available. And if this video has left you thirsty for more, then don't forget to subscribe like the video and join our amazing community and all that leaves us to say is take care god bless and see you all in the next video